Gateless Gate, the three gates of two suits, the 47th story from the Zen Flesh Zen Board. The secondly, when one realizes his own true nature, he will be free from birth and death. Now, when you shut the light from your eyes and become a corpse, how can you free yourself? <laughs> when one realizes his own true nature, once you realize the true nature, you are free from birth and death, means you are not frightened of health or wealth. <laughs> you are not frightened of senior or junior. You are not frightened of the authorities because you cannot commit any mistakes because you are not given a single gap. You are too, totally involved in your work. You have become such a karma yogi that your body starts becoming like magnifying thing. It is a magnet which attracts so many people to come and just touch your feet. Just to get your darshan is enough for them to get energized. Just to get your hug from you is a power which they think all the diseases can be removed. Secondly, when one realizes his own true nature, he will be free from birth and death. <laughs> then you will not segregate people within by the rich and the poor, up and the down, the poor and the bad. You will just see them as, as. You will just see them as. There is no meaning in it. There cannot be added any word into it. You see them as. Can I use the word? God, truth, love, beauty. <laughs> Now, when you shut the light from your eyes and become a corpse, how can you free yourself? When you carry your borrowed knowledge from your books and when you listen to, from others, suddenly you forget the amount of time your parents spent in trying to bring you up, to protect you, to feed you, to give you bath, to dress you up. You suddenly forget everything. Then you, from your eyes... You shut the light from your eyes and become a corpse. You become a dead body. You become totally in the dark. And in the dark, you are asking questions. <laughs> when the light is there, you could open it up. The, the light to come, you have to connect it back. You have to realize, you have to be conscious. <laughs> the consciousness comes from your practice of your samskriti. How can you free yourself when you have shut your eyes? Yes. Thirdly, if you free yourself from birth and death, you should know where you are. Now, when you are free from that, you know where you are. You are everywhere. <laughs> now, your body separates into four elements. Where are you? Everywhere. <laughs> Everybody feels it. When you are here, disciples, lovers, known people can still feel that you are inside their heart. <laughs> and they don't fear because... Once they, they love you, once they embrace you, they have the total power from diseases, from poverty, and intelligence just flows. Not the intelligence from the bookish knowledge, but the intelligence what they realize from the feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. You can be like that, it is possible. I think it's impossible to be possible. Yes, try that one. And then you can see you have become a human being for the first time. <laughs> that nobody can pull you from this side or that side. So nobody can talk bad or good because you are not clinging to the bad or the good because you are a karma. You keep, you keep going, you keep moving ahead without turning back to look how far you have moved. <laughs> But only looking ahead to find out how far more you have to climb. As you're climbing up the ladder, people keep pulling your pants, your undergarments, everything. You become naked. In the nakedness, you will feel beauty like the Zen master in the foot of the mountain. <laughs> when he went for a bath, when he came back, he saw a robber running from, out from his heart. Nothing is there in his heart. <laughs> but still, something small he has taken and he was running. Zen master clapped his hands and said, Robert, stop. <laughs> Robert stopped and turned around and the master was wearing a small towel on his waist. That is the only last one he had. He removed the towel and showed to the robber and said, who knows tomorrow you might need this. Please take this one too. <laughs> and the robber turned around to see the naked body of the Zen master. <laughs> How beautiful he looks. 
Look at him. He, has, he doesn't want even the towel. He's asking me to take that towel too. <laughs> when the person is with the nothing, everything is with him. The robber fell flat on the floor and begged the master to accept him as his disciple. <laughs> Such is the beauty.